Today, state lawmakers will debate one of the most controversial topics around the country, and that is police body cameras. This morning, we're joined by one man that will be speaking with lawmakers today, Public Safety Director Dr. David Wants, joining us live in studio. Great to see Good you. Good morning. Good hey. Let's start with what you're going to be telling lawmakers. What are you trying to convey to them this morning? Well, what we're trying to convey is that the police department is in favor of, of cameras. We think it's a good, responsible thing to do. It's evidence like other kinds of evidence, and the technology allows us to collect it. But it's an important thing for the lawmakers to tell us what the expectation of the community is with what we collect and what we store and what we release. This is actually new technology, and so there's no policies in place here or in many other areas around the country, so we're kind of chartering on, on uncharted territory. That's true. There are it's, it's new frontier, and people are trying to come up with policies that um, are useful to them, but there's a great unknown as to what the expectation is going to be with them. So well, let's talk about how do you pay for it. What's the sticking point when it comes to those kind of issues? Well, the, the, the biggest piece is the, collect, is the storage uh, of the data because that continues to increase, which also goes back to what we should keep. Uh, then there are uh, the personnel issues of how do we respond to requests for that information to come out? And what are some of the major uh, uh, sticking points when it comes to requesting that kind of video? What kinds of things are you going to be uh, laying out for the lawmakers? Terrific. So we want to be accountable and we want to be transparent. Accountable means that the police department will use it for training, for personnel, for observing patterns of behavior and for, for evidence uh, for, for investigations. The transparency piece is a little bit more difficult because the more transparent you are, the more is the possibility of constant surveillance and nobody wants to be constantly surveilled even in innocent behavior. One of the controversial issues here is editing the video. What will be edited in and what will be edited out? Right. So we believe that you can beforehand decide when to turn the cameras on. Lights and siren come on, kinds of complaints that the officer would be. Officer could turn them on. Um, officer falls down. Officer runs. Those things can come on. Um, we don't believe that an officer should have the ability to edit that. And we believe that there are technologies that allow us to pair GPS information with video information so we can actually see breaks. From the public safety standpoint, one last question for mm -hmm. you. Who should have access to this video? Well, that's not our decision. That's a decision that the lawmakers need to say, and perhaps in the cool confines of a judge's chamber, that ought to be decided because judges are used to balancing competing interests, very real interests of the need for transparency with the need for privacy in the Constitution. All right, a big debate still ahead and sure protocol thing. to be laid out. Absolutely. Dr. Wants, good to see you Great. here this morning. Great. Thanks so much for we'll having me. following you this throughout the day here. Terrific. Thanks so much. Beth